drop anchor at the most beautiful home of Captain I.K. Chop, a seasoned mariner and a proud dad. The most rewarding moment for parents is when their child is successful beyond their dreams. And when such a gifted child is from our very old sea parents family, we simply must have them on our show. We welcome the proud captain of this ship, Captain I.K. Chop, his gorgeous and kind-hearted wife, Mrs. Chop, and their whiz kid, Chirag Chop. Chirag is the boy whose dexterity is beyond limits. He's not only a student of one of the most prestigious engineering colleges of India, IIT Bombay, but is topped in one of the most difficult exams of management, the CAT. It's a great honor to have them all on our show today. So Mr. and Mrs. Jha, how was Chirag as a child? Please share some memorable moments from Chirag's early years with us. As we observe, uh, right from the time he's been going to the school, you know, as senior mm -hmm. kid, junior kid, and senior kid, of course, he got in a very good school. Uh, he's been very disciplined right from the beginning. Okay. But uh, one incident was there, which uh, I would like to mention over here, that uh, he went to the school by bus. Mm -hmm. And then as I was going to the office, uh, there was one small girl of uh, okay. his class only was uh, left out. Okay. So her parents uh, told me that since you are going to the to the office, okay. uh, you take this girl also just just drop in the school. You okay. know? So I took her in the in my <laughs> car and uh, we were going. So somewhere in one of the stops, you know, uh, a traffic signal, his bus had stopped and by the side my car had stopped. Okay. So he looks from the top, you know, <laughs> that I had taken that girl, you know, mm -hmm. her name was Ria. Yeah, yeah. You still remember, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, she, she was very happy that she's going in a car mm -hmm. and his son is going in the in the bus. You know. But this this boy was so jealous and all that. So he, uh, you know, when he got down in the school and all, he said, Daddy, why did you take her? Why didn't you take mm -hmm. me? I said, you had already left her with the bus yeah. and all and uh, mm -hmm. she was left out. So I had <laughs> taken her and, uh, and that was the okay. reason. Still, 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 oh still, 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 yeah, I can see that on his face. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's, uh, that's, that's otherwise, good. otherwise, he's been uh, very disciplined, and uh, right. whatever we we tell him, you know, right mm -hmm. from the childhood, he would follow sincerely, religiously, mm -hmm. and he would never uh, go beyond that. You know, so that is, no that is a very good quality, right. uh, I must uh, say. Right sure. Me. So, Chira, parents are often the first role models of a child, they share words of wisdom with their children. What were the most often repeated words that have stayed with you and helped you through your journey? Um, so as you can expect, uh, I did get a lot of pearls of wisdom from them um, right from my early years. But one thing that stuck with me um, since, since I was a child was when, um, when I'd come home, I think from, I'd lost my match or something and then I was oh. very sad. I used mm -hmm. to play football a lot, so I was, okay. I was obviously very upset. And uh, they always told me not to feel bad about uh, mm -hmm. failures. Yeah but to feel happy because after every failure you can only do better and failure is the best teacher that you can have so that's something that's really stuck with me and that's something mm -hmm. that, that I feel is really applicable in life today also right that's wonderful yeah. in fact that's helpful for any one of that's, us yeah, you know whenever we face failures in our lives and uh, next question Mr. and Mrs. Jha with each milestone that is first winning a seat in the prestigious IIT Bombay and now topping the CAT exams how have you seen Chira develop, mature and change? Yeah, as as I told you earlier, that uh, he was he was very disciplined and mature mm -hmm. for for his age right from the childhood, but after he got into IIT, he uh, started getting the achievement like uh, first achievement after that that he was a Mr. Fresher in IIT. Oh, in, that's in his, that's in nice. Batch. That's interesting. So he gained the confidence and uh, and after that he he got into the you know cultural festival that is Mood Indigo core group member okay. and so he was one of the 22 members who organized uh, such a big festival in IIT. So th that's how he gained the confidence and he started shaping up uh, in, a, mm -hmm. in a kind of a in a perfect uh, person you know and uh, when uh, this happened after that he got a placement I mean intern mm -hmm. with uh, Hindustan Unilever in UK mm -hmm. which was his dream. Okay. He, he, he didn't uh, think that he he will get that but uh, mm -hmm. it was his dream and That's he was lovely. very happy with the work culture over there and uh, of course weather was very good because it was <laughs> July. and uh, when he came back from there then he thought that okay now let's achieve another milestone and which was uh, this CAT exam and okay. he started somewhere in first week of uh, 
August and uh, precisely in four months he achieved uh, this uh, milestone. Mm -hmm. So that's how he kept on developing his personality mm -hmm. one by one. Achira, would you like to share a little about your early education and your time at IIT Bombay? <coughs> so uh, about my earlier education, as as you mentioned, I was in a very good school. So um, as, as a child, I was I was very much into sports, not too much academically academically mm -hmm. inclined, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and that really shaped who I was. That really gave me a competitive drive. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, playing a game of football really teaches you a lot of things. It mm -hmm. teaches you how to train as if for a for a ninety minute match, as if it's a one eighty minute match. So that's something that I've applied in my normal life also. And uh, right throughout IIT, um, right throughout my IIT life. Uh, being surrounded with such smart people, there's there's just mm -hmm. so much to learn. Like so I learn things from my peers every day. I learn things from my teachers. I learn things from every possible source, and um, I've I've really tried to use how much ever I can. But I would say it's just the start of my career, and there's a long way to go for me now. You outnumbered over one point seven lakh candidates to be in the elite club of hundred percentiles in GAT two thousand and fifteen. Who would you like to credit your success to? Um, so as I said, as much as I would like to give credit to one person, I, I would say it's it's like a team effort again. I mean, everyone sitting on this couch with me, mm -hmm. everyone ha has helped me in their own way. My sister, she's always been there for me whenever I've wanted to have a talk with her. Mm -hmm. My parents have always been been there for me for moral support. My friends have been there. Everyone has been uh, come together. Everyone helps each other, and mm -hmm. I, I, be, I I just hope that I can repay them when they need me in a similar Certainly way. Certainly you will. <laughs> Belling cat was shown on a piece of cake. What was your preparation strategy to bell cat? And also tell us about your daily routine you followed to keep up with the fast growing competition and besides studies, according to you, what are the other activities that a student could pursue to excel in his exams? Um, so um, my, my preparation strategy was very much dictated by the fact that um, I was limited by time. I had only four months while people had been preparing for a year prior. Mm -hmm. So uh, my uh, early focus was on just finishing off the portion. So it took me a one and a half two months to really finish it off. After that, it became more of a practice based thing. I used to give uh, I used to give mock exams uh, very regularly. So that by the time CAT had come, it was almost like I'd given CAT forty times earlier. Okay. So I had set my sleep pattern according to what the timing mm -hmm. was. I set my food pattern according to what the timing was nine to twelve, and uh, I studied accordingly. Um, so by the time CAT came, I was very calm during the paper. Okay. So besides studies, according to you, what are the activities that a student could pursue to excel in their exams? Um, so I'm, I'm a big uh, exponent of um, exercising and working out. Okay. I believe that mm -hmm. uh, such a thing not only uh, refre like refreshes your body, it refreshes your mind also. Mm -hmm. um, apart from this, I, I, I think that one should not become um, a laggard in at in any at any stage of their life. One should always be trying to learn something new. One should always be trying to pick something uh, new up, <coughs> learn from some learn yeah. from someone else. And I believe that those are things that a student can do. It can be in any field. It can be in the field yeah, of sports. Right. It can be in the right. field of um, organizing things. It can be in the field of research. Yeah. Anything. But do something. Do not waste your time away playing computer games. <laughs> <or whatever. laughs> That's yeah. wonderful to hear from someone as young as you. Mr. and Mrs. John, as we know, there is a neck-to-neck -neck competition and it certainly increases the stress on students. So how did you help Chirag to cope effectively and handle this? Yes, uh, basically he, he has been very methodical, yeah. but uh, we have told them that okay, do not worry about, mm -hmm. but he does take his stress. Because now he's got some um, uh, uh, oral examination or uh, mm -hmm. interview is there yeah. with the various uh, institute of management yeah. and all. Okay. So he's under little stress. Okay. But then uh, he, he doesn't give up. He, he prepares that but uh, and he, he gets through. Mm -hmm. So we always uh, encourage him. I said, don't take stress. Mm -hmm. You do whatever you feel like. You study whatever uh, you, you feel like and whatever amount you want. Mm -hmm. So you do not. And... Uh, of course, these brothers and sisters are also very close to each other yeah. and uh, behind our back they keep uh, counselling each other <laughs> and we do not know how, how they are <laughs> counselling and so they are a strength to each other, you know. That's lovely. So whenever, whenever we fail, we tell his sister, I said, you do the counselling or uh, <laughs> vice versa. <laughs> when she is, uh, she is okay. in a bad mood and all, we tell him to do that <laughs> and it's very effective, uh, let me tell you. Yeah, okay. so she's Great motivator. Great, great. Yeah, she is motivating like anything. All right, elder sisters do that thing a lot. Yes. I mean, I have one too, so I know, <laughs> really. <laughs> Chirag, you have been pursuing engineering, but your CAT results reflect your strong inclination to enter management. So please share your thoughts 
on this process of combination um so uh, my future career goals involve being a, a top level ceo of a either a global conglomerate or or my own venture Okay. And uh, so management figures into these plans in the sense that it will give me a uh, an acute sense of business and finance and marketing, mm-hmm. uh, along with the analytical and uh, my, the engineering skills that my four years at IIT have taught me. Okay. So I believe a combination of these factors will really help me succeed, hopefully in life. Sure. So okay. yeah, that's how it figures into the plans. Okay. So Chirag, what is your take on a regular job versus risk taking and entrepreneurship? Um. So I. I am for towards entrepreneurship. Um, a lot of people have told me that my personality does suit uh, that of taking um, this kind of profession up. Um, but I I don't think it's too much of a choice as such. I I believe that wherever you believe your calling lies, you should follow that path. Mm-hmm. If you do believe entrepreneurship is your calling, you should follow that path. But not follow it in the sense of a herd mentality. Mm-hmm. In the sense that because people are doing it just mm-hmm. because there's a startup India going on, you go for it. Um, similar with the job, you shouldn't just follow the herd. Do something that appeals to you. Do something that you will follow with the best of your abilities, and I think life will work. Everything right, that's, all. that's a wonderful approach. Because after all, that's what actually speaks when you follow a passion. Mm. With your dad in the shipping profession, there must be a lot of ship talk at home, isn't it? So, did this profession ever cross your mind? Does ship management feature in any of your future plans? Um, I I believe in approach uh, approaching things with an open mind. So yes, if if I see do see an opportunity in that field, and I do see that uh, with his guidance and his experience, I do feel that um, I I can do a good job in that field. Then um, I am open to it. Yes, and okay. I would go into it if if the opportunity does open up. Okay, Mr. Mr. Chauhan, I would like to know that being a proud parent, did you ever think that he should consider shipping or any other industry? Uh, yes, uh, we did uh, consider about shipping. In fact, once in a while he used to talk because uh, he saw on the Facebook some of the his batchmates, you know, uh, with uniform on the ship, you know, mm-hmm. photographs and uh, going around somewhere in Europe. And also he had some idea, you know, okay, let's. Uh, uh, the daddy, that's a very good profession. And I said to, okay, if you want, uh, you have a choice before you, and uh, you can come. But since the time he has grown up, uh, basically he was four five years old. I had left uh, sailing and I was ashore. So maybe uh, six months or three months he has sailed with me. And uh, my daughter has sailed a lot, you know. So he has seen me only uh, as an executive ashore. So though he knows that I am in the shipping, but he thinks that I am shipping as a as a shipping executive or uh, or a director or owner or in 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 that capacity. Uh, and he also aspires to you know reach that stage. Not through this line, but you know, direct to the through the management. You know, so uh, so he has a one of the choice in, in, in that field. Too. We are thrilled to know that you are a big football fan and also play the game. So, what is it about football that attracts you to the sport? Um, as I mentioned, um, in football as in life, I, I believe this. It's about giving it your all, and um, there will be times when even if you give it your all, you will not uh, you will not succeed. Mm-hmm. But um, it's 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 it's. It's 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 a one it's a ninety minute game so you have to keep giving it your all and um, so, so same in life so I I believe a lot of things are transferable in that sense okay so yeah I've learned a lot from that so Chirag what has been your approach to life with regard to academics as well as practical living what has helped you shape your life more um I would say that um, having having as I, as I, as I mentioned previously having the approach to uh, um go 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 towards things with an open mind with a you know trying to learn the best out of everything mm-hmm. and giving your best i mean giving 90% doesn't really help mm-hmm. so it's 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 an amazing statistic that if you give like just 1% more every day mm-hmm. you would be like 37 times better uh, so at cool. the end of the year and if you give like 99% you mm-hmm. would be like less than you know like right, you get right. 0.8 so i mean that really reflects how much a little effort brings out and you should be striving towards that effort mm-hmm. and be going all out i think that's so mr and mrs jha where do you see chirag in the next 5 years oh i i i always tell them that the sky is the limit for you all mm-hmm. in fact it will both of them mm-hmm. you know because I, uh, we are we are very proud of our children yeah. and uh, and i think they can achieve any height uh, after 5 years uh, i know i i i see them uh, somewhere in senior management of any of the any of the mncs or sure. whatever job they will be they will be right on top of it i mean i'm confident i'm confident yeah we're sure that. about it too yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so mr and mrs jha with so many achievements and such huge success how are you planning to celebrate your son's success 
yeah from the day he has got the result and uh, we have been celebrating you know sure. with family friends uh, known unknown people everybody mm -hmm. and uh, also one of the celebrations we have uh, arranged uh, or rather it is it is in the pipeline that the chief minister of bihar is going to felicitate him in the coming week because uh, now the, his interviews are there mm -hmm. in fact last sunday uh, last saturday uh, he was uh, uh, asked to be present in Patna to be felicitated on Sunday, but uh, because of uh, shortage of time, we said it was not possible because he was in Bombay and uh, he had to fly down to Patna and uh, go for felicitation. So we requested them to defer it by a week or two, and uh, probably in the second or third week, uh, uh, the felicitation will take place in Patna by the Chief Minister Mr. Nitish Kumar. And at the same time, even uh, we have got uh, information that uh, Maharashtra Chief Minister uh, is also taking out time uh, uh, from his busy schedule to felicitate him. We are waiting for a confirmed date, probably it will be third or fourth week of uh, this month. Let's see when it happens, because that will be a big encouragement for us as well as for him to you know go further and achieve that because he is uh, born and brought up in Bombay and he has done all his studies, so what he has got Everything is from uh, Bombay and from Maharashtra, mm -hmm. so he deserves to be felicitated by Maharashtra Chief Minister. Mm -hmm. But his uh, uh, root is in Bihar, mm -hmm. so Bihar also wants to take the credit of it. Mm -hmm. And the Bihar Chief Minister That's has uh, consented to felicitate him. Okay. So right. that is the uh, celebration we are, uh, sure. we are having. So, I have next question for Shifalika, that's Chirag's sister. So Shifalika, what are some of the qualities of Chirag that you admire as a sister? Um, so, uh, like everybody said over and over again that, uh, you know, he was always very disciplined, he was always very humble. So between the two of us, I was the bad child. <laughs> so, you know, he was, uh, from the beginning, he was very focused on whatever he did. So whether it is studies or whether like, you know, so when he was preparing for his mood indigo, when he was a core group member, you know, so he has this habit, he will just spend a lot of time on something, you know, and he will not leave that particular thing until, you know, he's perfect at it. Mm -hmm. So, um, like when he was studying for his JE exam or when he was uh, preparing for CAT or um, now that he's preparing for his interviews. So, the one thing that I really admire, which I don't think I've seen in a lot of people, is the dedication, the focus and, you know, where he, you can shut off everything else and just focus on that one thing. Mm -hmm. So, that is his one quality. Other than that, I think discipline. So that I know with his workout regime, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> he's just, I mean, whatever happens, he will just schedule everything according to that and still manage to do everything, but uh, he will follow discipline, he will follow uh, his, uh, he will keep his approach the same. So I think that's what has led him to uh, where he is now. Okay, that's nice. And you're particular in himself, like he, yeah. he doesn't have to be taught to your love. At all. Yeah. That's nice. So Mrs. Cha, are you a protective mom? Yes, like other one, I am overproductive in person. <laughs> that is what they used to say. So what does Chirag enjoy to do most when at home? When he is at home, normally he is to play the video game <laughs> or uh, watch his TV. <laughs> okay. So now let's start with a quick fire round. Answer should be quick and full of fire. Let's have the competition between Captain Ja and Ja Jr. Starting with Mr. Ja. So what is your favorite place visited? Uh, Norway. Norway, okay. Your idol? My idol is uh, my children. Last song that stuck your mind? Lollipop. <laughs> uh, last song was uh, probably when I was in the training, you know. I used to like this song, the Chalte Chalte. If not shipping, then what? If not shipping, then I would have become a bureaucrat. Oh, really? That's nice. Any book to recommend reading for the sailors? For the, for the sailors, uh, basically I would like them to read some social books because uh, they stay on board the ship and they are not really very social people, you know. So, the craziest and the wackiest nickname you got on ship. <laughs> oh, that's a, I, I don't think because I won't know what uh, <laughs> they will give me. You never overheard it. Uh, no, but in, in uh, shore, yeah, ashore, I... I got some nickname, you know, they call it uh, Dadu or Dadu, you know, <laughs> because I was uh, very senior in, uh, in the organization, so. Okay. The one thing that can make any sailor happy? The family. Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. 
last question react with the name of one person from merchant navy for the following sea dog sea dog mm -hmm. sea dog i would uh, i would uh, say uh, uh, our captain su or uh, captain guha you know they are the senior people you know home sickness home sickness home sickness me you <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay um, srk shahrukh khan to me shahrukh khan Uh, any one person that uh, comes to your mind uh, under your navy camp not the film stars okay not, not the film stars okay and um, one person that you have to call a legend no uh, probably any of your seniors most probably i don't know in in uh, shipping fraternity uh, let me recall uh still uh, still i would call captain sul because i started my shore job with with, with uh, captain sul i found him a very good person you know fantastic well mr ja that wasn't really fast <laughs> <laughs> for my age it was fast <laughs> <laughs> but that was nice so let's begin with chirag are you ready and pumped up chirag oh yeah very pumped up <laughs> So, which is your favorite place visited? Um, I would just Cabro in um, UK, in mm -hmm. England. Your idol? My idol, I would say my father. Last song that stuck your mind? Um, I would say uh, Lake Song by the Decemberists. If not engineering, then what? Me. <laughs> uh, if not engineering, then what? Probably a world traveler. Any book to recommend reading for people preparing for CAT? Um, not only for people preparing for CAT, but in general, I would say the secrets. The craziest and wackiest nickname you received in your college days? I can't say in front of parents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you got many. So okay, it's a chicken. Okay. Well, the one thing that can make any IIT unhappy? Um, <clears throat> food. <laughs> food. React with one word for the following: free kick. Goal. Exams. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Chemicals. Tough. C. 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 Sunday. So we had an amazing time talking to you all. Thank you so much for taking your time and coming on the show. You are now anchored. Well, friends, with that we end this episode. Meet you all next week with another sparkling personality among the sea fans. Till then, stay tuned to Sailor Today. Your little show, Wallace. Thank you.